from flying high on a 9-hour avatar cut to swinging across the multiverse with Miles Morales, the film industry has been rife with some bombshell reveals. Could Ben Affleck be coming back to direct a DC film? Is John Wick 5 coming? We will uncover that and all more in today's video here at Trailer Spot. Now then, let's get started. Will there be a Scream 7? Fans of the slasher film franchise are eagerly waiting for news on whether or not the horror series will continue. And while Paramount has yet to officially confirm the production of a seventh installment, recent comments from the directors of Scream 6 are giving fans hope. During the Scream 6 premiere, directors Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett dropped hints about a possible Scream 7. In an interview with Deadline, Bettinelli Olpin said, We hope. We want to be watching Scream movies whether we're involved or not for the rest of our lives. Gillett added, We're so happy it's back. But some rumblings say there's more than hope in those words. Scream Geek claims to have credible sources that reveal production on Scream 7 will begin this year, with a release date in 2024. The site also teased that the studio hopes to have it shot and released just as quickly as its predecessor. Even while fans are still waiting for confirmation, a Scream 7 release is appearing increasingly likely. Stay tuned for the quickest updates on the future of the franchise. The Man of Steel is being given a second life thanks to the much-awaited new film being directed by James Gunn. After months of conjecture, the destiny of the legendary superhero has finally been revealed, and with it comes the next installment in the new DC film world that Gunn and his co-chair Peter Safran have been building. In January, Gunn hinted at the possibility of a Superman reboot named Superman Legacy. And now it's official, the Guardians of the Galaxy director will helm the film. Gunn expressed his delight at having found a unique and emotional way to give Superman the dignity he deserves in a recent Twitter thread. Superman Legacy will serve as the linchpin of Gunn and Safran's new multi-platform universe, referred to as Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. The film, which will star a much younger version of the hero, is set to return to the classic interpretation of the character by emphasizing his inherent goodness and his representation of the American way, among other things. Those who see Superman Legacy in theaters can rest assured that Gunn is at the helm and that they will be in for an exciting experience. Fans of the Avatar franchise, hold on to your hats, because there are whispers that Avatar 3 could clock in at a staggering 9 hours. How? Well, sources revealed on the hot mic with Jeff Snyder and John Rocha that a 9-hour version of the highly anticipated sequel is now in the works, with plans to release it as a limited series on Disney+. Fans may get to see even more of Pandora and its residents on the streaming platform after the theatrical cut hits theaters on December 20th, 2024. After insisting on doing the visual effects work for this cut all nine hours, director James Cameron will reportedly go on to trim the runtime. It certainly makes sense for Cameron and Disney to want to get the most out of their investments in this epic film, and a limited series on Disney Plus could be just the ticket. Acclaimed filmmaker Parker Finn has just signed a multi-year first-look deal with Paramount Pictures, securing his future in the industry for the foreseeable future. Finn's previous movie, Smile, a horror film he wrote and directed, was a hit with audiences and critics alike, leading to this major deal with the studio. Sources indicate that Smile 2 is one of the top priorities for Paramount, with Finn returning to write and direct. In an interview, CEO of Paramount, Brian Robbins, gushed over Finn's unique and fresh filmmaking, adding that the studio is thrilled to have him. Sosie Bacon also appears in the highly successful Smile, which earned over $217 million worldwide. Bacon plays a therapist who suffers terrible hallucinations after witnessing a patient's suicide. With Finn's ideas for the sequel already in mind, fans are eagerly anticipating what horrors await in Smile 2. The highly anticipated fourth installment of the John Wick saga is set to hit cinemas soon, but fans may have to wait longer for the fifth movie, according to director Chad Stileski. John Wick 5 was supposed to start shooting immediately after the conclusion of the fourth film, but that schedule had to be rearranged because of the spread of the COVID pandemic. Both director Chad Stileski and actor Keanu Reeves recently stated in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter 
that they are now taking a hiatus from the franchise. With the potential of a fifth film depending primarily on the financial success of John Wick 4, Stileski added that he loves to give himself some breathing room in between films so that he can let outside influences and experiences inspire him. Every time I come back to a wick, there's been two or three years in between. That's a lot of time for a human, he said. However, fans of the franchise can still look forward to The Continental, a prequel TV series, and Ballerina, a spin-off movie featuring Anna de Armas, with a cameo appearance by Reeves. With the overwhelmingly positive reviews of John Wick 4 already making waves, it's almost certain that the franchise will continue with the fifth movie in the coming years. Ben Affleck recently quashed rumors in an interview that he might lead DC Studios' next film. Affleck has directed films like Argo and Live By Night, but the new leadership at DC Studios, James Gunn and Peter Safran, has put him off directing a superhero movie. In a recent tweet, James Gunn said that he met with Affleck to discuss directing a new film, but Affleck denies having any plans to do so. He told The Hollywood Reporter that he wouldn't direct something for the James Gunn DC and that he's not interested in that style of directing. Though Affleck had intended to oversee a Batman solo film, he ultimately gave the torch to Matt Reeves since he couldn't find a good script. For now, it seems that Affleck is content with staying out of the director's chair for superhero movies. Tron fans rejoice! The third film in the legendary science fiction franchise could soon be in production. One of the film's producers, Justin Springer, recently provided an update on the status of the movie, which has been given the working title, Tron Ares. While addressing the crowd at Walt Disney World's All the Disney Thrills event, Springer shared his excitement for the project and suggested that now is the right time. Springer reassured fans that even though it has taken longer than expected to develop Tron 3, the crew is working hard to make sure the movie is worth the wait. We want to make sure we have a movie that feels like it meets the ambition of the things that have come before it, he said. The project has been in development since as far back as 2017, with Joakim Ronick, the filmmaker behind Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and Marco Polo, now in talks to direct the highly anticipated sequel for Disney. There's still a long way to go, but the Tron crew has reassured fans that they're working tirelessly to complete what will be an epic continuation of the series. The highly anticipated SXSW conference is underway, and fans of the Transformers franchise have reason to be excited. The event features a significant focus on movies and TV shows, with many panels and musical performances taking place. At this year's conference, the stars of Transformers Rise of the Beasts made an appearance including Anthony Ramos, Dominique Fishback, and director Stephen Capel Jr. In addition, three character posters for the next film were shown, each showcasing one of the film's main characters, Optimus Prime, Optimus Primal, and Mirage. Filmed in Brooklyn in 1994, it chronicles the struggle of Optimus Prime and the Maximals, including the ape-like Optimus Primal, against Predacons, Terrorcons, and Decepticons. Fans are psyched after seeing the trailer and can't wait for the June 9, 2023 release date. The hit thriller, Fall, is finally set to have a follow-up film. With director Scott Mann returning to the reins, Fall 2 promises to deliver the same adrenaline-pumping thrills as its predecessor. The plot revolves around two friends, played by Grace Caroline Curry and Virginia Gardner, who become stranded atop a 2,000-foot radio tower. Since its debut, the original film has garnered a devoted fan base, with Netflix UK claiming significant viewing, making it the second most watched film, trailing only Idris Elba's Luther, The Fallen Sun. T-Shop Productions, the film's producing studio, is ecstatic with the positive word of mouth that has helped the film reach new heights. The sequel is still in the early phases of development, with the production team working on fleshing out ideas. Although it's unknown whether any characters from the first film will return, filmmakers guarantee that Fall 2 will be a unique take on the original rather than a retread. Additionally, the production crew may decide to make Fall 2 PG-13 from the start saving money on prospective reshoots. Given the popularity of the original Fall and the thrilling news of a sequel, fans are now eagerly awaiting the new film's release date. 
It looks like Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will be the most blockbuster Spider-Man movie to date, and fans can't wait to see it. Miles Morales, voiced by Shameik Moore, will take on the villainous spot as he is flung through the multiverse in an epic adventure. Empire Magazine has just released new images of the film, giving fans a sneak peek into some of the five new universes they can expect to explore. Audiences will be swung away to five different universes in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, including Earth-65, which is home to Spider-Gwen, as well as India-inspired Mumbatan, futuristic Nueva York, and punk-inspired New London. The plot follows Miles as he reunites with Gwen Stacy, and they team up with other Spider-People to protect the multiverse. However, when they clash on how to handle a new threat, Miles must redefine what it means to be a hero and save the people he loves most. The film is set to release on June 2nd, 2023. So, which one are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the latest movie news.